There's little worse than seeing kids distressed, uncomfortable beyond belief, with no way of easing it. It's a skin condition that affects close to 3 million Australians, and there's now a push for eczema to be taken more seriously. At its worst, um, oh sorry, um, it was really hard. Today is a good day for Harry Fisher. I'm just so fearful that he'll just go back to where it was. That was so hard on everyone. The four-year-old lives with extreme eczema. Diagnosed when he was just five months old, some days he can't even leave the house. It was just getting progressively worse. Um, and it's just, to this day, he hasn't been 100% clear. Um, and he's, he'll be five in January. Mum Emma says Harry's condition is so bad, the family has completely changed their lives. We've spent at least over 100 grand just because of his skin. That's including, we had to move houses because the house was too old. We had to get um, ducted air con um, to make sure the temperature's right. We had to uh, get a new car because the seats weren't leather. As well as thousands of dollars every year on creams and medication. How hard has it been on you guys as a family? It was also really like lonely as well because people are kind of scared because they're, they're worried that they're going to affect his skin or they're wearing the wrong clothing so they're going to flare him so people just avoid us. Emma and Harry have now joined the campaign to get eczema on the national agenda. You get People say, oh, I understand what it's like. Oh, I've had a rash before, but they don't know what it's like. It's, it's intense. When I'm having a massive flare up, it feels like that my skin's on fire, but also I've got thousands of stabbing needles from like my neck down. 30 year old Amy Carr still struggles with eczema. She believes there also needs to be more financial support for those who suffer extreme cases. But then when you go to the chemist and you still spend $100 on, say, 15 to 20 tubes of cream, and that lasts two days, then it does be quite, become quite taxing. We started this campaign, a call for a national eczema strategy, um, for a number of reasons. Actually, I could almost say three million reasons. Uh, we have nearly three million Australians impacted by eczema. Melanie Funk runs Eczema Support Australia. Her twin sons both suffered relentlessly as kids, even travelling overseas for treatment. It really isn't right that we have such a common condition with so little support. She believes a national strategy would help other families who struggle to find the right care. National standardised care, more financial support, for this condition, as well as more access to treatment and more access to dermatologists and specialists. We're really lucky we've gotten on top of his eczema with his specialist, with his dermatologist. Um, however, it's still daily creaming, um, there's a bit of medication involved, but prior to that, um, he was just not really a normal boy. Jenny Lay says she's through the worst of it with her son Atticus, but says finding the right treatment plan for the seven-year-old has been a long road. It's been about like a six-year journey from when we started trying to get help for it. Harry is now doing better thanks to a new medication, but it costs two and a half thousand dollars a month currently subsidised by a compassionate fund at the Children's Hospital at Westmead in Sydney. But that runs out next year. He relies on it, really. I don't want anyone to have to go through what we had to go through just to be able to get the help. Oh, it's just so cruel, isn't it?